Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video. In this moment, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 4060 in Horizon Forbidden West. This one is the MSI Ventus version of the card. We are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers, and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs here in Tech Power Ups. GPU Z as usual, and resizable bar is enabled. We also got 8 gigs of GDDR6 to work with. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with half of its cores disabled, so it's the same as the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D basically. And yes, it's very overkill for the 4060, but you should get the same FPS with like a Ryzen 5 7600 as well. And over on the memory tab, we're using 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 megahertz RAM in dual channel. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, first up, let's go over the settings. I'm starting at 1080p resolution using DLAA, no frame generation and no upscaling at the moment. And I really recommend you to use DLAA instead of like SMAA and TAA. Well, why that, did that go away? I, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, DLAA looks really, really good in this game. And it doesn't really impact the performance by too much, like for example, Cyberpunk does. And I'm using the very high settings here, not maxed out settings like I did with the 4080 Super. This is just the very high preset which is the highest preset you know but uh, yeah it could go a little bit higher and as you can see looking at the map from here at native 1080p we're getting 60 ish frames per second that's that's really on the edge by the way I'm almost falling here uh, let's go this way oh boy oh boy okay <laughs> I'm gonna start counting our FPS and ooh, it's dipping down into the low 60s guys you know what at this point I am sure this is gonna drop from 60 FPS and there we go it uh, dips down into the high 50s. Thankfully, we still have the DLSS option as well as frame generation in this game, which will probably save the little 4060 from dropping from uh, 60 FPS, you know. But it's not really a bad experience. If you look at the frame time graph, it's pretty consistent. It does seem a little bit weird in this game for some reason. It's not like a flat line like you usually see in like buttery smooth games. But this is very, very smooth anyways. I can't really notice any micro stuttering happening here it feels really great and it looks absolutely fantastic as well if you haven't noticed like this is extremely pretty to look at there are a ton of particle effects if I just stop right here you can see the the world just feels alive you know there are a lot of bugs as well flying around everywhere and they're detailed <laughs> which is insane and there's wind there's movement everywhere it's, it just looks beautiful my friends and I really really like like this. Unfortunately, I would like to have seen at least like 60 plus FPS all of the time with the 4060 here at 1080p high settings, or very high settings actually. There is also the high settings preset of course, but well, the little 4060 isn't really that impressive, you know. Oh boy, <laughs> that was a little stutter right there. Okay, probably just a one-off loading in this new area, you know. It's a nice town right here with some buildings and stuff, and it's actually dropping down our FPS by a little bit more. Uh, also, I'm sorry about the screen tearing it's probably atrocious right now but that's because of the freaking capture card whenever I'm very close to 60 FPS it always does that um, anyway it's just it's a gorgeous experience 60 FPS average experience which is definitely enough for a lot of people you know so I'm not complaining here I, I just wish the 4060 was a little bit faster from the get-go but hey it is what it is and I also wish it had a little bit more VRAM <laughs> you know not that it is a problem here at 1080p it's using like seven gigabytes of it and we got eight as well but it's right on the edge I think if we enable frame generation it will probably get really really close to that 8 gigabyte threshold but hey I'm gonna do it anyways the LSS frame generation is on it looks really good in this game okay it's still applying wait what oh I see what happens we ran out of VRAM at 1080p resolution and it swapped some things that should be on VRAM into the RAM already that's why the RAM usage is a bit higher at the moment and the VRAM is lower as well because well it swapped things right uh yeah th this is this is a worse experience this gpu didn't even come out a year ago it's like what nine ten months old or something like that and uh it's it's already running out of vram at 1080p resolution it's target resolution with its main feature the frame generation stuff how crazy is this? Nvidia, this is why I'm really sad to see the, the 4060 only having 8 gigabytes, and it should have had 10 or 12 gigabytes of VRAM uh, to work with because. 
Yeah, you could lower the settings a little bit to high, for example, but the card can clearly play the game at very high. It's just not delivering a good experience with frame generation. This is sad, guys. This is really sad, but I saw this coming and I talked about it in the review of these cards, the 4060 Ti being the same thing, you know, that's an even faster card that will get hampered just as hard by the 8 gigabytes of VRAM. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so don't use frame generation at 1080p resolution. All right, to give it a little bit more of a chance, I just restarted the game to reset the VRAM and RAM utilizations and stuff. And I'm still playing at 1080p with frame generation on and DLAA because when I started this game, I didn't even notice that I had frame generation enabled and I was getting like 60 plus FPS consistently. And now we were getting like 50-ish FPS, most of the time but no as you can see it already started swapping some things into the ram and it's stuttery and uh yeah it's it's this area right here it has more things to load i guess on the vram and it just goes to hell really really quickly so i'm gonna turn off frame generation here and enable dlss on quality and we'll see if this is going to be a better experience after a restart so we reset the things actually already reset it just by going to the menu but still i'm gonna do it all righty here we have it dlss quality at 1080p resolution look at the vram usage it's, it's still going up okay okay maybe this area actually runs out of vram even without frame generation it still hasn't stuttered though so there's that uh, at least <laughs> you know it's still a smooth experience and it seems like it's going to be a 60 plus fps experience all of the time it swapped some things right there uh, but i mean if it only happens once a little stutter you know of swapping things or or twice that's twice uh, already god damn it mate come on oh my gosh eight gigabytes isn't enough at least for a completely buttery smooth experience it's still playable though you know i'm not really complaining here it's well optimized and so on and it feels good like 99 percent of the time outside of those little stutters and most games these days do stutter anyways even when you don't uh, run out of vram so I don't mind this, okay? It's it's way better, even with the little stutters running out of VRAM, than 99% of the games out there. But I am disappointed, guys. I am disappointed that this GPU only came with 8 gigabytes. It's already showing its uh, weaknesses right here in Horizon Forbidden West. And granted, again, yes, I know, it's very high settings. We can lower it to high, but it has the horsepower to do it on very high. As you can see, it, it, it is running above 60 FPS all of the time at the moment. It doesn't look as good as native resolution or even as good as native resolution with DLAA plus frame generation. Um, the DLSS implementation in this game isn't really that great. It already swapped some more things into the VRAM there. And we're running with DLSS now guys that's absolutely insane the game is running internally at 720p resolution and upscaling to 1080p and it's eating up all of our 8 gigabytes of vram so we'll need to drop the the textures at least you know i'm gonna drop it to like high settings next and then we're gonna proceed to 1440p but this is kind of unexpected especially after seeing the performance on the rtx 4080 super as well as on the 3060 12 gigabyte model in the minimum and recommended requirements systems and it was a buttery smooth experience with both of those gpus obviously because they have enough vram <laughs> anyways it actually did drop into the 50s already oh, god damn it again seriously it just won't stop, guys. We need to drop the resolution of the textures. All right, so let's go from very high to high here. And it, the texture quality changes from very high to high as well. It should look very similar. You know, the game is pretty anyways, even on high settings. I'm going to restart the game. But yeah, now with native resolution, DLAA, no upscaling or no frame generation and the high settings, this should consume around 6 gigabytes of VRAM. So it shouldn't be getting any static issues whatsoever and uh, I'm noticing that we lost a little bit of detail on the ground textures on the tree textures as well like yeah that, that doesn't look as good as previously but well at least now we can get that 100% buttery smooth experience with the RTX 4060 without a problem so there's that it won't really swap anything into the RAM and cause those little spikes in the frame time graph 
And uh, yeah, it's more enjoyable this way. I would definitely play like this instead of very high because of, of the smoothness factor. And again, it, it looks really, really pretty still. It, it just sucks to see that you have to compromise already with a 4060 that came out some months ago. And now let's fight these guys. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, he's dead. Nice, good job. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, all good, all good. Stop it, stop it. All right, I'm feeling the 50 FPS-ish right here. Come on. There we go. Oi, oi, behind. Not from behind, boy. Not from behind, please. All right, you know what? I'm going to fight them with my spear. There we go. There we go. Much better. Also, I just keep getting <laughs> freaking achievements. It's not completing the achievements. It's just saying that I am progressing through them, you know? But why? <laughs> why would you do that? Anyway, I'm just gonna go inside of the little town once again to check out the FPS here on high settings and see if it actually gets those little stutters while loading more things into the VRAM. VRAM usage is going up slightly here, like 500, oh, 700 megabytes more than what we saw previously in the woods area. And uh, yeah, closer to 60 frames per second most of the time, so we're getting uh, screen tearing, I'm sorry, again, it's just, it's not the GPU, it's not the monitor, it's just the freaking capture card. Anyway, let's stop it right there, 56 FPS here, almost 7 gigabytes of VRAM utilization. Ah, kind of a bummer. Maybe if we kept on playing, it would actually fill up, but I, I don't think so. I think on high you should be fine with a 8 gigabyte GPU. Now... Let's try frame generation, okay, on top of the high settings. Hopefully, it's going to stay under 8 gigabytes of usage. We got some headroom there, but as you can see, it's already at 7.5. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, again, in this game, frame generation looks really good, okay? Very, very close to the native resolution stuff, and it looks better than just using DLSS quality, in my opinion, because that just over-sharpens the image by a little bit. Um, more than I like. Also, it's it's already running out of VRAM and swapping things into the, the RAM. Yeah. So even on the high settings, we can't use the feature, the main feature of the 40 series GPUs frame generation with an 8 gigabyte card like the 4060 and its target resolution of 1080p without swapping things into, into the RAM and running out of VRAM. So, uh... Yeah, that, that sucks. And yes, it didn't really touch 8 gigabytes, not that I saw at least, but you can see that the RAM usage is way higher now and VRAM went down slightly, so it swapped some things. Still, if it only happens once or twice during your gameplay session, it's fine. It's just a little stutter. You could think, ah, it's just loading things. It actually is loading things into the RAM. <laughs> um, but I, I, I'd like to see more VRAM on these GPUs. It's just, it sucks. Frame generation uses more VRAM. VRAM. Why do these GPUs have less VRAM than the last generation? Like 4060, 8 gigabytes, 3060, 12 gigabytes. What? It should be the other way around. <laughs> it doesn't make sense at all. Oh boy, I am I'm I'm mad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just ranting a little bit right here. Not that the performance is bad or anything. It's just kind of disappointing. Uh, let's turn it off, okay, and let's use some DLSS quality again here on high settings. And uh, I'll probably need to restart this. You know what? This is a very beautiful area, actually. I don't want to restart and get out of here, but I will. All right, we need to keep these things consistent. <laughs> okay, here we go. Where are we? Oh, it's right here. All right, we're not far away from that area. Oof, it's so over-sharpened. Can I do something about it? Is there like a sharpness slider around here? Yeah, see that? On 5, you can clearly see the grass right there, or this thing. Uh, on 5, it's super over-sharpened. On 0, it actually looks better to me. And on 10, it looks really crappy. So I'm gonna set it to 0. I never thought I'd say this, but it actually <laughs> looks better with 0 sharpness. Now... At 1080p DLSS quality, which is essentially 720p upscale to 1080p, as I told you, it should be way smoother without any stuttering whatsoever, because I am not expecting the VRAM to get maxed out. What the heck? <laughs> that wasn't a maxing out VRAM issue, okay? <laughs> it's just a one-off, I guess. Oh boy. Okay, I, I need to chill down a little bit and stop 
caring too much about these little stutters that happen. They're not gameplay breaking like they are in other games, so it's fine, right? Big city right here, actually, guys. We're getting around the same FPS as outside of this, which is nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Love no the lens flare. What? Forward. No, buddy. Go Commander knows go shut up. What if I want to? <laughs> I can't, I can't even hit you, of course, Savior. of course, okay, ooh, dropping down into the 50s there, guys, for a second, yep, for some reason, this, <laughs> this scene right here, maybe it's Please, his, uh, Savior. helmet thingy or whatever, it job. is really intensive, if I put it off screen, yep, it, it goes up by a lot, the FPS, you know, so, the feathers on the helmet of the guards are extremely intensive, apparently. So yeah, if you want 60 plus FPS 97% of the time, <laughs> this is the way to go. High settings with DLSS quality. Make sure to turn down that sharpness slider. It actually looks a lot better, at least to my eyes it does. It's not a personal preference, though, so you do whatever you want. But play around with it, see what works best for you. All right, I'm going to disable this now, go back to DLAA, and we're going to do this at 1440p resolution. So now I am expecting it to run out of VRAM again, because 1440p is 78% higher in terms of pixel count compared to 1080p resolution. Time to fight? Why? We shouldn't really... We, we shouldn't... With these FPS, it doesn't really feel that great, but okay. I'm gonna try it anyways. There we go. Come on. Come on. All righty. All right. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I need to craft more. There we go. All good, right? Oh, that should be counting our, our FPS, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh boy. What the heck? All right. You know what? Time to go with the spear. Yes, sir. There we go. 40-ish frames per second, sometimes dropping into the 30s. Doesn't feel too bad though okay because it's not stuttering it it's consistent you know so i'm fine with 40-ish fps it's just a little bit harder to aim like this and play like this and uh it's a bit harder to get used to but i mean oh that's that's a nice skill actually you could get used to this very very fast and you could even like lock the fps to 30 it would be um playable still i bet like the ps4 pro uh, plays the game at 30 fps anyways and a lot of people still enjoyed the game on that platform so yeah this is just a prettier version with more fps at the moment no problems here guys yeah running around these beautiful areas won't really be a problem it hasn't had a single stutter yet even at 1440p so that's great seven and a half gigabytes of vram utilization it's under control at least so far let's see inside of that huge city take a good look at that ram usage 12 gigabytes vram is at seven and a half still hasn't moved okay all good hello how are you going <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's not really moving. Okay, it seems like the high settings are good for 1440p still, which is kind of impressive considering how much VRAM 1080p used, you know. Shut up, shut up. Let me check the most intensive thing. <laughs> okay, wait a second. That's that's a bit too blurry. It's blurrier than before. Uh, well, there we go. 38, still very blurry. 38 FPS minimum right there. I think we actually dropped into these values previously inside of the little fight with the robots. Well, that's it, I think, for the 1440p high settings. We've seen enough here. Now, I could use frame generation, but I'm not sure if I want to. I'm probably going to try that out after we test the LSS quality. Okay, so DLSS quality first, and it's looking really good with the sharpness set to the lowest compared to other games because this isn't a blurry title at native resolution for once. We actually got a AAA game that looks absolutely fantastic, even without ray tracing, right? Because the game doesn't support ray tracing, and it looks absolutely fantastic even with TAA enabled, which is absolutely insane compared to every other game that we've had for the last few years. Pretty much every single game out there these days, aside from this one, has a ton of blurriness because of some forced TAA. So, yeah, quite nice here. You can play at 1440p with 63 FPS average, 48 1% lows. Even while fighting robots, it's only gonna dip down into like the, the mid 40s, probably, you know, maybe low 40s. But it is a very stable experience. It feels really nice, especially if you play with a controller. There is no problem at all with this. 
If you have 4060 at 1440p, yep, your VRAM is not enough for a lot of games, but this will work just fine, especially with the LSS quality. Holy crap, that's a lot of bobots. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try DLSS frame generation on top of DLSS quality this time. All right, and we should probably see something happening there to the VRAM and the RAM. It will probably, yep, it <laughs> instantly started swapping things and performance is worse than it was with the LSS quality alone. That's what happens when you use frame generation and you run out of VRAM, and it sucks. It just gets lower performance, more input lag, more stuttering. It's just not worth utilizing this at uh, 1440p and above, which is a shame, you know? You'd think that frame generation is there to help GPUs at higher resolutions and stuff. Imagine, ah, I'm getting like 30 FPS at 1440p, now with frame generation, I can get 60 or 50, it's amazing. No, if you don't have enough VRAM, it's gonna be worse. I'm gonna stop talking about that. I, I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot, but I'm just mad at this. <laughs> All right, anyways, I'm gonna stop it here with the high settings. I'm gonna keep this on the LAA now, and we're gonna go up to 4K. You know what? Since we were getting like 7.5 gigabytes of usage at 1440p, I'm gonna lower the texture quality to medium here, okay? So we don't run out of VRAM. Hopefully, maybe it still will. And all right, no, it actually seems like the VRAM is enough if you play with medium textures. But medium textures look like that. Yeah, <laughs> you lose quite a bit of visual fidelity with medium textures compared to high. Holy crap, that is a big difference. Hmm, <laughs> okay, it is what it is. At lower resolutions, you can play with high settings at least, so there's that. Uh, it just will suck a little bit for 8 gigabyte cards that would probably play this game at high settings and 4K resolution. Like what, 3070 Ti, maybe? Anyway, it is and playable here at the 4K resolution. Still looks really beautiful if you don't look at the textures. Like everything else is still feeling very much alive. All of the details and the particle effects from high settings are still there, of course. It looks absolutely beautiful. But then you take a look at things from up close, like this, these planks of wood, yeah. It, it looks crappy. <laughs> Thankfully though, we can utilize some DLSS and on DLSS quality, things look pretty much the same as native resolution. Little bit softer, just a little bit, okay? But they actually look really, really good still because of that sharpness slider. I should have played around with that. I didn't even know that there was a sharpness slider to begin with, honestly, when I made the 4080 Super video because I was bashing DLSS quality quite a bit there, but it turns out all you need to do is lower that sharpness and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. Very, very similar to native resolution stuff, guys. Wow, and now the 4060 is actually capable of achieving 40 plus FPS, at least so far, right? 1% lows are in the 30s, but I don't think it dropped that far. Okay, yeah, it's quite good. So again, you will need to compromise on those textures, but it's not the end of the world if you're not licking walls and stuff like that. Goodbye, Bobs. Come on, Bobots, go to hell. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, all good, all good. Yeah, we're just playing in story mode, so I, su I shouldn't really get this excited <laughs> that I'm doing well in a fight, right? <laughs> it's not impressive at all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, almost there. Good stuff, good stuff. So it dropped to like, what, 35 frames per second, I think? Not bad. I could still play the game absolutely fine like this. Obviously, it feels a little bit more jittery and stutter. Well, not stuttery, but um, sluggish, yeah, than the 60 FPS that we were getting previously. But it's still playable, and if you lock it to 30 FPS, add a little bit of motion blur maybe to make it console-like, it can look really good still and achieve a good experience at 4K resolution. And I can't say the same for many games out there these days. Uh, with an RTX 4060. And I've also seen a ton of comments recently saying that the 40 series isn't really that much of an improvement over the 30 series. And I mean, on the lower end GPUs, it definitely isn't. Like, 4060 isn't a good improvement over the 3060. 4060 Ti isn't a good improvement over 3060 Ti or 3070. And then 4080 
great jump over 3080 and so on, but people think that those higher end cards aren't much faster than the 30 series were. That's because when the 30 series came out, they were just blazing through everything, like 3080, complete beast of a card, getting like 100, 120 FPS at 4K, max settings in a ton of titles, aside from like MSAAs and stuff like that. And then we get 4080, which is definitely quite a lot faster than 3080, but games are so unoptimized that it gets like, what, 60 FPS at 4K max? Not impressive, right? <laughs> now, if you're planning on playing this game at 4K with a 4060, I would stick to these settings. Again, if you enable the LSS frame generation, it will go to hell. <laughs> because the VRAM isn't enough, and uh, I wouldn't really go lower than the LSS quality, I guess, because it's not going to be easy to achieve 60 FPS, right? Yeah, performance the LSS, well, it starts looking a bit, a bit pixelated in some areas for sure, guys. It still looks way better than 1080p, this is rendering the game at 1080p and upscaling to 4K, but... Um, yeah, I can see quite a lot of issues with the image noise and uh, pixelation mainly. Still looks incredible though, <laughs> for what it is. But it's not enough for 60 FPS. You would need to sacrifice even more in the graphics department if you wanted 60 FPS here at 4K. And what's the point, right? I would just stick to high quality DLSS, medium textures. It's gonna be a great experience at 4K with a 4060. And uh, if you're playing on like a TV far away from the TV, you might even not notice the bad textures a lot of the time. So there's that. <laughs> So yeah, that's been it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with another Horizon Forbidden West video later today, so stay tuned in for that, and I'll catch you then. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.